Next, under foodborne illness, we talk about biological toxins. And there are certain biological toxins that cannot be destroyed by either heating or freezing. That is why it is very important that you always purchase your products from reputable dealers and suppliers and once received, handle the products properly. This helps to ensure that the toxins are not already present within the product being purchased or once received, begin to accumulate due to poor handling on your part. We touched upon biological toxins in a previous video. We now explore this topic in much greater depth. Certain bacteria produce toxins as they multiply, whether in the gut or in poorly handled food. The body quickly absorbs these toxins, resulting in rapid illness onset. So if these bacteria are present within your product and you do not handle the product appropriately, then toxins can build up to levels that will produce foodborne intoxication when consumed. If the food product is cooked to proper temperatures, destroying all the bacteria, but while in storage, the bacteria thrive due to mishandling, even cooking to proper temperatures, the toxins are not destroyed and will make the individual or individuals ill that it's served to. Just one example, a potentially fatal nerve toxin is produced by Clostridium botulinum, the toxin responsible for botulism. There are some toxins that naturally occur within the environment that may, over time, accumulate within specific types of food products. One example is Ciguatera fish poisoning. This foodborne illness can result from consuming certain types of predatory fish species. The toxin is not created by the fish nor their prey. The toxin accumulates within fish at each step of the food chain, becoming more concentrated as it moves up the chain. The toxin is produced by a small marine organism called Gambria discus toxis found on and around coral reefs, flourishing in areas where reefs are dying or deteriorating. Tiny sea creatures, such as shellfish, consume this organism, which begins the accumulation process. As these creatures are consumed by larger and larger predatory fish, the accumulated toxin ends up in fish such as grouper, amberjack, and snapper, where it becomes concentrated within their flesh. Reputable dealers will not supply fish from areas where the originating algae that produced this toxin might live. Individuals who have ingested the toxin may experience nausea, vomiting, and neurological symptoms such as tingling in the fingers and toes. They may also find that cold things feel hot and hot things feel cold. While there is no cure for this illness, it usually only lasts for a few days, but in some cases it can last months or even longer. One of the most common types of foodborne illness that can result from consuming fish is called scrombroid poisoning. This is the result of histamine being converted from histidine by flourishing bacteria in fish that normally contain high histidine levels that have also been time temperature abused. Common offenders are tuna, mackerel, mahi-mahi, sardine, anchovies, herring, bluefish, amberjack, and marlin. Symptoms include a physical response similar to an allergic reaction occurring rapidly as quickly as 10 minutes after consumption. Duration lasts about 12 hours, but treatment with antihistamines are very effective. Histamine and other scromboid toxins are resistant to cooking, smoking, canning, or freezing. Lastly, there are fish that contain areas within their body that if not properly prepared can infect the rest of the flesh with poison, such as certain types of puffer fish. We all know that plants such as poison ivy and poison oak produce toxins, but there are other plants that are biological hazards as well. Many plants are able to produce toxins such as hemlock or snake root. When it comes to plants, it is just best to stay away from the exotic species unless your chef is experienced with using them. Fungi can create toxins as well. Once again, it is best to stay away from the exotic fungal species unless your chef has experience with them. The main points to remember, always buy from reputable dealers or suppliers, inspect purchase goods upon arrival for time temperature abuse, and always handle food correctly once received. And lastly, remember that foodborne intoxication occurs quickly due to the body's quick absorption rate. RDStudy.com video tutorials are produced and owned by Nutrition News Network, LLC. 
any copying, reuse, or redistribution in full or in part for any purpose without the written consent of Nutrition News Network, LLC, is prohibited. All rights reserved.